Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Chodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men that I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much through the spirit, I want to share with you this um the digital currency plan which is currently in effect and it's a part of this so-called 2030 agenda that they discuss on the world economic forum the great global reset which was centered around the pandemic all right and as you can see they have this agenda and on um, full force all right and they're starting to gradually have people accept this through social conditioning now i'm going to read this right it says the digital currency plan. It says roll out the NSA created Bitcoin to get the masses excited about digital currencies and get them on the blockchain. Because ultimately, this is what they want. They want a one world currency. Right. They want a one world um, bank. Right. They want the only bank to be the Bank of England, which is controlled and ran by the Rothschilds, which, according to the scriptures, the Rothschilds are the descendants of Esau Edom, as well as the so-called white man and his seed line or his bloodline. Man carries the seed, going back to the Greek word sperma or sperm. All right. So your nationality is determined by the seed of your father. A man can have multiple wives because he can impregnate them and that's beneficial for reproducing. But if a woman has multiple husbands, she doesn't carry seed. All right. She can only get pregnant at one time. All right. So a woman being a whore and sleeping around, that's that's not beneficial to life. That doesn't aid in populating the earth as the heavenly father commanded. So I just want to put that out there. All right. So the Bitcoin, as well as all these cryptocurrencies, they were created to introduce you to the idea of stepping away from physical cash and using digital currencies because through a digital currency they can monitor your transactions and this is what the central bankers want through blockchain all right and this is what they discuss on the world economic forum you know there's a lot of different clips on youtube i highly recommend that you tune into those clips because if you're into the bible well if you are an israelite right a so-called negro hispanic or native american indian man woman or child you know, you need to be keeping up with the current events and linking it up to Bible prophecy. So you can see how this NWO agenda is being set up in society. So now continuing on, number two, implement a government digital currency, central bank digital currency, CBDC, throughout the nations. Now, who runs the central bank? Who runs the Federal Reserve? The central bankers. What do they look like? so-called white men whether you want to call them you know jewish israeli hey that's up to you but they're edomites according to the bible the so-called white man and his seed and when you look at the family that started the central banks right it's the rothschilds and they're so-called white men all right they're edomites according to the scriptures so they run and they control all these central banks all you have to do is just go on google go on the search engine and type in a list of central banks and you could do your own research to see who started the first central bank which is started in the bank of england by maya m shell bauer all right or maya m shell rothschild okay and then you had his five sons that went on to europe and they spread their system or their banking system all right throughout all of europe and then ultimately all the world so this cbdc currency is issued by them we're living under their system which was prophesied in the bible daniel the second chapter second Ezra six and nine all right so we know that the edomites right the so-called white man and seed the same people that was ruling over the roman empire they're ruling right now and they're going to be the ones to implement this m-a-r-k of the beast this m-o-t-b which is the rfid chip implant but before they do that they're coming up with the one world currency that they're going to put on the chip. All right. Because the RFID chip implant 
It's an actual device. And this is what John the Revelator, um, John the Revelator is seeing on the island of Patmos in his vision. All right. So this currency, this CBDC currency, they're going to put that on a chip. And you're not going to be able to buy or sell least you have the MOTB, which is the RFID chip implant. Because the RFID chip implant, it can store data on it. What kind of um what kind of data is it going to store? Your medical records, all right, the one world currency, which is the CBDC, the different ways to identify yourself, the different ways to unlock things electronically. So everything is going to be on this chip. All your documents. You know, all your important ways to identify yourself, it will be on this chip. And this chip will be made mandatory. And you as a believer, you got to deny it at all costs. It says, initiate a massive false flag that crashes markets and collapses fiats and cryptos, a.k.a. EMP and cyber attacks. And this is what, you know, I'm not pushing it as no doctrine or nothing, but this could possibly be the next major false flag attack on this system so that they can come up with an entirely new system as a solution to get rid of the debt. All right. Let's see what else they have. It says allow the fiat currency. Fiat currency is the paper money. All right. This paper money, this system, this banking system that we are operating under is controlled and ran by who? The Rothschilds. All right. The different central banking families, the same ones that own the Federal Reserve. All right. So it's an easy thing for them to say, look, you know, you can't use fiat currency. If you want to buy or sell, you're going to need this chip or you're going to have to before the chip is made mandatory, you're going to have to use the CBDC because right now they're implementing it, you know, throughout all these countries as a test run to see how people is going to react. Right. But then they're going to put that currency on a chip because when you're dealing with buying and selling, that's dealing with a currency. Right. It says, allow the fiat currency system to stay collapsed. So from the 1930s up until right now, the dollar has been devalued over 92 to 96 percent if you do your research. So not only are we dealing with inflation, but we also dealing with hyperinflation because things are more expensive now. Right. It says. Allow the fiat currency system to stay collapsed. Do not recover the economy like in past crashes. So they want to cause a global economic collapse. All right. This is a part of their plan. This will get people desperate as inflation becomes unbearable. And you see this in South America. All right. Mainly in Venezuela. But then now that's going to come here because what what are they saying in 2023? You have these major people that deal with the stock market. You know, they deal with uh, finances and um, business, all these head CEOs and these people that run these top companies, they're telling you that, look, a recession is coming. Oh, this is how you prepare. Right. But you can't really prepare for that. It says announced that the central bank digital currency will be the replacement for all fiats. This is the process that we are currently in right now before the MOTB is made mandatory throughout all countries. And what the scriptures describe as the hour of temptation, right? It says, allow the desperate masses to trade their fiats for CBDCs. So you have this 12-week pilot program, which is, it really just means testing, right? It's like a test. They want to run it for three months to see how people was going to react. See, right now, they're using some banks, but what they're not telling you is, all these banks are going to consent to this because the banks run under what system? The central banker system, all right, which is ran by the Rothschilds. So if the Rothschilds say, look, you got to use this currency now, no matter what country you in, you have no choice but to use it, all right? But the way how they're going to push this thing, they're going to push it as a thing of convenience. So it says outlaw cash. This is... This is why you had the so-called plant um, demic, all right? It was to outlaw cash, saying that, you know, the, the virus, it could spread on cash, right? It says gold, silver, and other precious metals because it's going to be 
the the RFID chip implant that's going to replace all of this. So you can't hoard up gold and silver. I mean, if you want to do that, you could do that. But that's not going to replace fiat currency. What's going to replace it is the RFID chip implant. All right. It says outlaw and ban all non-government essential cryptocurrencies. Now, how are they going to be able to do that? Because these current cryptocurrencies have nothing to do with the central bank. They're not centralized. They're not backed by the central bank. People could do money laundering through cryptocurrency. People could do all kind of illegal activities through cryptocurrency. All right. The central bankers don't have control over people that are using these modern, you know, temporary cryptocurrencies. The CBDC is not a cryptocurrency. It's a digital currency, but it's not crypto. All right. The CBDC is controlled by the central bankers. All right. That's literally what the name means. Central bank digital currency, CBDC. So it says like Bitcoin, it says funneling everyone onto the blockchain into using the CBDC. Because remember, when you send money using cryptocurrency, if you ever have done it, it has to go through a approval process through blockchain. It has to get one or two approvals. I know with Bitcoin, I think it only needs like, like one approval. But when you use these other cryptocurrencies, sometimes you need like two or three approvals. Now, who has to approve it? The ones that own blockchain, which ultimately is going to go back to the central bankers. All right. So when you're dealing with blockchain, they can monitor all the transactions that are coming in. All right. So it says. Require in embedded RFID chips. This is the goal of the central bankers to cause a global economic collapse, to bring in a new system that they can control the people under and take all your rights away. That's why the slogan of 2030 is what? You will own nothing, all right, and be happy. So it says, require embedded RFID chips or biometric identifiers for all transactions to be made with the CBDC. This is why I'm telling you that the currency is going to be on the chip and you're not going to be able to buy or sell. At least you have the MOTB, which is the RFID chip implant. Now, what's going to be on the RFID chip implant? The CBDC currency. All right. So it makes sense what I'm saying. It says the MARK of the beast becomes reality, which it will be very soon. All right. It says refusing it will make you an outcast. And this is what I'm going to get into. So now let's get into it. Second Corinthians 2 and verse 11. Least Satan. Now, when you go into this word Satan, the word there is Santanas in the Greek. And it's talking about what? A Satan like man. All right. Now, who is the Satan like individuals on the planet Earth? Look at Hollywood. Look at all the hidden symbolism in these movies, the music videos, your everyday life is all kind of pagan evil symbols that's going on, right? Witchcraft is nothing but evil, right? What people promote this as an agenda to separate ultimately the Israelites from the heavenly father, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, our savior, Yahweh Shai, the so-called white man and his seed, beginning with the central bankers on down. All right. The Edomites, because that's their true nationality. So they are the Satan like individuals. They are the God of this world. They serve Satan. All right. It says least Satan should get an advantage of us. Right. Because the Satan like individuals, they're wicked. When you read Malachi 1 to 4, what does it say? The Edomites is known as the border of wickedness, meaning anywhere in the world that they're ruling at or dwelling at. It's going to be wicked there within that land. It's going to be extra wicked. All right. Because that's how they created to be wicked. Job 9 to 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right. So we know that the wicked is talking about the Edomites, the so-called white man in seed. Right. It says should get an advantage of us. The only way these devils could get an advantage of you is if you're not a part of the elect. Because when you read Matthew 24 and 22, what does it say? It says that if it were possible, then they shall be able to deceive the very elect. 
but it's not possible. All right. So when you got like these little psyops going on, you got like these false flag attacks going on. You know, you got these fake Israelite celebrities broadcasting what you people think is the truth and is really not. All right. When you got all this going on, you can't deceive us by that because concerning these celebrities real quick, they're not pushing the gospel. All right. They're not directing. They're not glorifying the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, first and foremost. All right. But they're not directing you to the men of great millstone or the men of like mind that teach the same exact doctrine. All they're saying is black people are Israelites. But what about our so-called Hispanic and Native American Indian brothers and sisters? All right. They're Israelites, too. Anyways, it says for we, right, the elect, the ones that's in the know, the ones that Yahweh through Yahweh Shai have given the Holy Spirit to. Right. For we are not ignorant of his devices. When you go into this word devices, the word there is Nayama. Right. And it says what? A mental perception, thought and evil purpose that which things the mind, thoughts or purposes, which is going to bring you back to the word conspiracy. The word conspiracy, it means a secret plan by a group or group, the Edomites. The, N the NWO agenda is the goal of the central bankers. All right, to implant you with a chip, right? It says a secret plan, which their plan is in the Bible. Revelation 13 and 16. A secret plan by a group to do something unlawful or harmful. The action of plotting or conspiring. So when you see these different meetings that these different Edomites and world leaders have, such as the World Economic Forum, all right, the G4 Summit, Bohemian Grove, you know, all these different meetings that's closed off to people in the public, this is what they conspire about. How can we control these people fully? And this is what their NWO agenda is about. This is what the CBDC currency is about. This is what the MARK of the Beast is about, which is the RFID chip implant. All right? Now, let's look at their agenda real quick, because this ain't no coincidence. Now, when I do videos on this, I'm not saying that in 2030... This is when they're going to make the RFID chip implant, you know, mandatory. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that this is their goal. This is what they want to have accomplished by 2030. But we know according to the scriptures, all right, Matthew, the 24th chapter, it says that what? The day has got to be shortened for the elect sake. So, Lord willing, this place don't last until no 2030, all right? But this is their mission goals, though. That's That's what I'm showing you. They want a one world government, right? One world cashless currency, a.k.a. what? Your CBDC. One world central bank, the Bank of England, right? Which is ran and controlled by the Rothschilds, right? Now, let's, let's scroll down. It says microchip society for purchasing. That's why I said the currency, the CBDC currency is going to be on the RFID chip implant. All right. The MOTB is the RFID chip implant. But the RFID chip implant, it can store data, such as different ways to identify yourself, as well as the one world currency. So don't, don't get it confused, all right? Microchip Society for Purchasing, Travel, Tracking, and Controlling. Now, where's this agenda found? How has the Most High exposed them? Let's read it. Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls of all. Now, who's the he that calls of all? Because when you scroll up, when you read verse 3, it says what? The deadly wound was healed, referring to what? The ancient Roman Empire. Now, the deadly wound being healed means what? That the same people that was ruling over the Roman Empire, they will come back into power on a future date. Now, we're in that time, first beginning with the Renaissance era, which was the rebirth of the Edomites, a.k.a. the Romans, coming back into rulership. Then they was fully established through something called what? The Treaty of Rome. All right. So now let's go down because this is dealing with them. So it says, and he calls of all. So the he that calls of all is talking about what? The Edomites, mainly the central bankers, right? The Rothschilds on down. Calls of all, meaning what? It's going to be made mandatory throughout all countries. So first they're setting up the CBDC currency before they set up the RFID chip implant to be made mandatory. Why are all these nations and countries 
coming out with the CBDC. Ask yourself that. Why? Why are they going from fiat currency to a digital currency that's not even cryptocurrency? Why, why is that? People already have Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Ask yourself that question. How come they want to abolish cash and do away with crypto? If cryptocurrency and the CBDC is the same thing, obviously there's an agenda behind it. So they're setting up the currency first before the MOTB, which is the RFID chip implant. So it says, and he, referring to the Edomite central bankers that control all these governments through finance, right? This is their system we're under, cause of all. That's why the scriptures say what? Revelation 3 and 10, the hour of temptation shall come upon all the world. All right? It's clear what's going on. And the hour of temptation deals with what? The time period that this RFID chip implant is made mandatory throughout all countries. All right? It's called the hour of temptation because this is the experiment that the Heavenly Father through the Edomites is going to send on the planet Earth to separate the chosen from the, from the non-chosen, the believers from the unbelievers, all right? Because the ones that take the chip, you can't be forgiven. You're going to be destroyed. And we know salvation is only for the nation of Israel anyway, beginning with the elect, which is not going to take the chip. So it says, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, everybody in society, right? To receive, so if you receive something, this is a physical device. When you go into this word, M-A-R-K, right? The Greek word is karagma, and it says what? An imprinted M-A-R-K, which is talking about what? An incision. It's a physical device that has to penetrate your skin through a syringe. This is what John the Revelator seen in his vision on the island of Patmos, all right? You go into the root word of karagma, the Greek word there is karaks, and it says a pale stake or palisade referring to what? The syringe that's used to inject the RFID chip implant in your skin, making it what? An incision. So when you look at the procedure of the RFID chip implant, it links up perfectly once you go into the root words, once you get a stronger understanding from the apostles of Great Millstone through the Rakai Kodash, the Holy Spirit, all right? Now, when you take it a step further, which is going to back up everything I've been saying, the word there is grapho. And grapho means to what? Store information on a specific type of material. In other words, store information as data on a device. What device? The RFID chip implant, all right? The RFID chip implant it's a radio frequency identification device, all right, used for um, GPS tracking, you know, tracking the whereabouts of a particular, you know, person, place or thing, right? But what people don't really discuss is that you can store data on it. The different ways to identify yourself, have it compatible with doors and key locks and stuff like that. And also what's going to be on it? The currency, the CBDC, all right? So now let's go back. So it says in their right hand on their foreheads. So you got Elon Musk, which is a new war, which is an NWO advocate. He's talking about what? Brain chip implants, which is also the MOTB. And they're pushing that as a miracle, as a thing of convenience, you know, as a miracle from God. That's how they're pushing it. It says now verse 17, it lets you know that what? It's talking about a currency. So it says, verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell. Drink some water real quick. So lock in. Verse 17, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 17. And that no man, because remember, the scriptures say that the hour of temptation is going to come upon all the world. So that's why I'm saying that. It's talking about everybody in society. And the ones that don't have this chip, right, you're going to be an outcast. So it says that no man might buy or sell. So buying and selling deals with what? A currency. We're already using fiat currency and cryptocurrency to buy and sell. So why is it saying that nobody's not going to be able to buy or sell, right, save he that have the M-A-R-K? Because it's talking about a device that has the currency on it which is what? The RFID chip implant. So this is the goal of the central bankers. This is what's being established 
right before your very eyes. The NWO. All right. So it says, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right. So let me just get this real quick. And then I'm going to close the video. Revelation 14 and 9. It says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image, his image ultimately goes back to the ancient Roman Empire. But the image right now is the NWO. All right. His digital cashless society that he wants to set up, that he has full control over. Because the so-called white man, he wants to be worshipped as a god. He wants to play the role of God through his technology, right? And receive his M-A-R-K, which is talking about the RFID chip implant, in his forehead or in his hand. So if you get it in your left or your right hand, you receive the chip. You're going to be destroyed. If you get it anywhere in your body, you're going to be destroyed. All right? It says, The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. So the ones of you that get this chip, not only you will never, you know, you won't be forgiven on this side, but what makes the Lord righteous and destroy you? Because indignation means what? Righteous anger. So what makes the Lord righteous for destroying the people that take the chip? Because you was warned by the mouth of the prophets, the men of great millstone. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, the thermonuclear missiles in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, a specific period of time, till the fire settles, right? And then America is going to be turned into a desert after the thermonuclear destruction. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image, right? The beast ultimately go back to what? NATO and the EU, right? And Esau is that beast-like man and his image, his NWO, and whoever receiveth the M-A-R-K of his name. Right, which is that um, chai size stigma, six hundred sixty and six 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 six. So if you take this chip, you're gonna be destroyed. All right, the elect is not gonna take this chip. So I just wanted to do that quick video. Shalom.